<coughs> Hi, hello there. Hi, welcome back to Twitch. Wait, hold on, wait. No, wait. Why did it say Twitch? I've been awake for two hours, chat, I swear. <laughs> Sorry. God damn it, I'm not high. <laughs> Is my mic sounding okay? It better not be. Oh, we're at 46 followers. Oh, loud. Uh, but no. 46 followers right now on Twitch. Go, go follow. We're close to 50. Well, I'm close to 50. I'm here alone. You guys are helpful, though. Because you're going to 50 followers. I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't have a team or anything like that. I don't, I'm not like any other streamer or YouTuber where I have a team behind me. So I can say me, I, whatever. There's no one else to help me here. I mean, other than my dis Discord mod team, but then again, very kind of it. And I'm at Fro I'm at Frosham Shade. A lot of them don't do anything except for like maybe one or two. Actually, only two of them actually are <laughs> rather helpful. One of them's the bot guy, very useful because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And the other one's real. He's just a nice dude and pretty chill. Anyways, where are we doing this today? I I forgot. Are we robbing people? I think we're robbing people. No, wait, we're going to the glass desert. I just remembered. Oh, the food is okay over here. Let's go check on the annoyance. Well, the annoyances. Look at them. Oh, they're so happy. Not for long, though. They're going to be very, very angry. I have not been... I, uh, have I been really... Have I really been live for two minutes already? Damn. I just checked to see, like... Oh. The time, time's flying by. I'm going to blink and see if the stream's going to be over. I'm going to be like, hey, what the hell happened? Is God here yet? Probably not, but still, I want to check. They are, but he's not. He's such a coward. He's not showing up. I hear my cat meowing. Well, one of my cats. I have a lot. I didn't intend to get so many cats, but I just do. But it was it was out of my decision. Decision chat. Trust me. I fought violently for us not to get so many, but we ended up get, getting so many. Anyways. If Toxoplasmosis probably had something to do with it. I think that's the name of it. It's the parasite that makes, um, like, m mice or whatever, like, wouldn't get eaten by birds or cats, because it, it then, like, basically just allows them to complete, complete its reproduction cycle. I don't know. I'm just... I, I'm going off of memory, and we all know my memory ain't that good, considering I can't remember how many things I need. Example. I couldn't think of an example, but, but I, I guess I was an example right there, Ben, if I couldn't think of one. Oh, he's a hungry boy. Uh, what can I talk about to be interesting? I don't know. But I, I am not a very interesting person is all I'll say. Well, I like, guess I kind of am because I have my own little universe or whatever that I occasionally talk about on stream. But like, I don't have many real life stories to talk about. Because my life is not very interesting, and I mean this in like the mo in like the like in the best way. Like nothing insane or like crazy has ever happened to me. Really, crazy. I was crazy, anyways. I'm not joking either. Like maybe the 
most that's happened to me is I almost died once. That's like the only thing that I could, that comes to mind when I go like my life. That that's the only thing that comes to my mind when I say my life isn't that interesting is the fact I almost died once. I guess I could tell that story. I think I've already told that story here multiple times. I think I have. I don't know though. Uh, no, but so like a few years ago. And by a few years, I mean like maybe even maybe ten or so years ago. It, it was a long time ago. I was like either eight or six at the time. Uh, me and my sister uh, were taken to a to a pool that one of our uncle's friends, our family members owned. I forget who it was exactly, but we went to a pool, we went swimming. Now, at this point in time, I, I couldn't swim. I still can't swim very good, but at least I can swim now. So, that's a plus in my book, at least. But, anyways... So what happened was, I decided, you know what would be a great idea? Be completely unsupervised and walk around the edge of the pool. Like, not like on the edge of the pool, I mean like, in the pool, there was a slight little edge that my toes could stand on in the water. I started walking around it entirely. I, I slipped off it in the deep end. About 15 seconds of me, of me like, trying to surface, none of the adults re realized that I was drowning. It was my sister who noticed that, hey, something ain't right here. Went in, grabbed me out, but I didn't go into the water for... <laughs> and I just kind of sat there. Didn't even realize that I was about to die either. Uh, but no, uh, another thing I will mention is that... Uh, you guys might think, oh, how did no one see you drowning? Drowning's a lot more... It's a lot harder to see than you think. Uh, like, I'm not joking. Yeah, several adults, granted, they were distracted by each other, like talking or whatever, but it's a lot harder to realize that someone's drowning than you think. But anyways, now that we're over my traumatic experience of me almost dying, which by the way, I do love the deep ocean, and even though I almost died to, died to the water once, I fought, I went to fight the water and almost lost. No, but yeah. I still have a love for the deep ocean and everything water related. Oh, it's actually one of the reasons. Smack is actually one of my favorite games out there. I have a lot of favorite games, like. I guess you can't say they're my favorite games then, but I have a lot of games I really like. Oh, but like. The frames. game I would like more of into and that's not me just to get me free anyways uh, what's over here Some of it's going on over in the room next to me. Someone's moving shit around. I just heard a chair squeak. Or is that under me? I don't know. Oh, there you are, friend. This is the Gilda Gin Ginger chat. This is the best way to... This is... What the fuck going on? This is how you get three different... Uh, Let's say you get three gold ports in one go. Okay, if I hear another thump, I'm gonna go check it out. I need to get some stuff. Oh, I got a Discord ping. Ag agreed, indeed. Okay, what the fuck? Hold on.
Ooh, okay, made it. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go check what this all this thumping is real quick. Okay, I yelled at them. They ain't gonna stop because we're doing something apparently that requires their full on attention at this very exact moment. You know, I can't, I can't like wait a few like minutes or so. I have to do it now. I need the next ports. I need RVs. I have actually never picked up a Darvish slime before. No wait, I need those. Don't need those. There you go, give me the food. Well, there we go. We got it. He is shaking the entire fucking house with what he's doing. Jesus Christ. Anyways, uh, what other random thing can I talk about? Should I be able to hear it? Hold on. My mic's actually really quiet for the game. No, I actually know it's just because I'm not speaking loud. I don't speak loud a lot of the time. And Oh wait, no, my water's gonna run out now. I gotta go back for it. Uh, give me the water. You guys probably just heard that. Okay. Anyways, on to the next one. sand right there, not water. And we're basically just by the end game area now. And I'm not joking either, this is literally right over, literally right behind me that there's a big structure over this general direction, not this. Uh, but over there is the actual end of the game. Bruh. <laughs> there he is, the mosaic slime. What do you have to say? Must have been one heck of a scorcher that caused these glass formations. They always looked like flames to me, like great firestorms covered the slime before being frozen time. But again, maybe these are flames burning away by a pace we can't even perceive. Perhaps this desert has two different, different times overlapping, one another, and here we are stuck in the middle of it. Wouldn't that just be wild? Yeah. H, are you, H, are you high? When you wrote this, were you high when you wrote these? If so, what were you on, and where is it? Meh. 
Hey, another H. Over there. That is literally the final part of the game. Once you enter that building, you get your final message from Casey. Quiet, uh, and then uh, you, the credits roll. Quiet sight to gaze upon the sand sea out there, no? I've scoured every corner of the desert and everywhere I look, that sand just stretches to the horizon. Makes you wonder just where the heck on the far, far range you are when the slime sea is nowhere to be found. Uh, clearly, we are still on the same planet because the moon. Oh, no. I thought you were gold when I was... I, I was sorry to launch a this into the gold. Hey, Quantums. You don't see them here. I think it's like one of those few places they ever spawn, actually. Uh... Water has returned. Bro, he is being so fucking loud right now. He's not even trying to be quiet, he's literally just punching the wall right now. Okay, we need to find a bunch around. We're gonna need a lot of carrots. I don't need these anymore either. Well, I don't need them anymore, so I guess we can fall into the abyss. Yeah, I forgot about this area. Open! I made a great mistake, apparently, with opening this door. Like a grave, grave mistake. I need, I need to take the water from this fountain and make a dash for it. I got the water. Get dunked on. It should be so nice if hell wasn't happening right now. Anyways, we need a bunch more carrots. I almost, I was about to shoot it at him. so many Largos. Like a stupid amount of them. Bro, leave me alone. I'm stealing your food. Lag. Oh, there's a tar around here somewhere. I don't care though. Uh, silver parsnips. I'll get rid of you. Oh, 
Okay, now we just need remaining food. We just need to go feed this man. Well, soon anyways. We don't need to feed him now. We just need to get all the food from him. It would also be wise for us to probably go back and check up on check up check up on our creatures. They're probably getting unhappy, at least one of them are. And if they're unhappy, that's not good. I just need a few more veggies, and then I'll head over to the big boy, feed him, and then we leave. If there are any veggies left. Damn, there are none. I guess we can go feed him with what we have currently and hope that's enough. It most likely isn't, but still, we can hope. It would be about... We have around 40... Or, no, we have we have about 42 food on us right now. With the sewer parsnips are their favorite, so they... Would actually give us... Those are worth double. So yeah, hopefully 40 is enough. If it isn't, then we're, we're definitely, definitely just missing 10 or so. Anyways, let us but head over. Actually, this area might have some untouched food. It does. Stop consuming all the food. If this food isn't for you, it's for someone else. More parsnips. Okay, that's that's enough. Now we just gotta, now we just gotta get it up to him. He is the most annoying one to get up to, by the way. Okay, now I wait. Hey, big boy. Got another slime key. Hey. Okay, now we head back to base, deposit all this stuff, except the gilded one, which we'll throw on the ground somewhere. I'm gonna go pick it up before we leave again. And then we'll come back here, enter the final area, and possibly a dental slime rancher. Keyword, possibly. Not care. It's not a guarantee that we will be done. Cause we still need to capture God. We 
You go there. I'll come back for you in a bit. More. Oh my god, there's so many over here. It only takes a few cycles for it to start just producing so much. I would like to once again apologize for all the noise you hear in the background, but that's because once again he's still somehow. It's been how long since he's been doing this? About 30 minutes and he's still moving furniture in that room. Like, I don't know how, why it takes you that long to move furniture. You have literally three, like, four fit things in your room. Oh, they grew again. But 15 going here, and then we deposit. Money. Yep. You guys need to eat. I would pay for a drone right now. But they're so expensive to make. Which is actually a reason why, which is actually kind of valid, because their drones are supposed to be expensive. So I'll fold the fire ports. And let's go sell off all the other ports. You also might hear my mic slightly in the background, but that's because I have headphones on too, because I'm using my headset. So I have to have my volume up pretty loud so I'm able to hear it through my headset. I could have like one ear off so I can hear it, but that's weird. I won't be able to hear anything around me then. Need 10. We'll come back for them in a second. We have a lot, though. Oh my, the money! We're rich. We still got more to sell. We haven't even gotten to the, our other slimes yet. We just got, we just went through these three. these guys. I forgot what I was doing here for a second. A lot of mango. And a lot of cube berry as well. Wouldn't even put a dent in the supply of cube berries we have. A 
the last one. My god, there's so many. Heartbeats. Cube. Aka. And mint. We still have much more to go. <laughs> Uh, fun fact, I just remember this. The U.S. government has a lot of fucking cheese. You might be thinking, oh, do you mean, like, something else? No, I, I literally just mean cheese. There are tunnels full of cheese. We just have it lying around. Ever since, like, the Great Depression, I'm pretty sure, like, the, the U.S. government's just been stocking up on, like, cheese. So, like, in the event of another, like, de like depression or whatever, uh... We just bust out the cheese and go like, here, we, here you go, here's some cheese. And and I don't mean like just cheese that you can like buy in the supermarket. I mean rolls of cheese, L literal, literal cheese wheels. We just have lying in underground right now. It's slightly funny, but still. We just kind of have it there. Anyways. Yeah, cheese gave us a high terminal. <laughs> it's just, it's literally just, a, if it, there's like, I'm not even joking, we have like a few, there's millions of pounds of cheese lying under America right now. I wish I was joking, but I'm not. <laughs> There's just cheese. Listen, I can make up some pretty insane shit if I wanted to, but like, nothing is more insane than just saying, "Oh yeah, in in like, in like one of the in a first world country, we just have a bunch of cheese underground." I, I can't, I couldn't make the shit up if I wanted to. I'm not. Because <laughs> they has some interesting things wrong, <laughs> but yeah. The cheese is the, granted. The cheese isn't one of those things that's wrong with the with the USA. I won't I won't, I won't get too political, mainly because I don't like game political at all. It dropped down to six. I was right, terminal. Okay, <laughs> or whoever said it could, couldn't drop down to six last time. It can. <laughs> that means it can go to five. No, but we we just have a bunch of cheese. Like an ungodly amount. Oh boy. Money. That's definitely someone's IP address with the money I have right now. I, I dock someone, this, this streamer docks someone in Slime Rancher? Not clickbait? Gone wrong? Uh, I, I, like, I know clickbait's like a thing that people do, like, get views, but like, I could never see myself doing a lot of clickbait. Like, I'll do a minor amount, like, example, the whole Slime Rancher series on YouTube where I literally just have it all in caps, like, we ca we're capturing God or whatever. Not really, it's kind of clickbaity because we, haven't captured them yet, but we will. But still, so, clickbait is something I just do not understand why people like. 
There's a lot of people out there I don't have a respect for. And like clickbait YouTubers who like basically just abuse clickbait are like one of those I do not respect at all. Granted, every YouTuber uses clickbait, but like if you're just like if you're just using it to an unreasonable amount and just directly lying to your audience, I do not like you. I try not to clickbait my content my content too much, but like I everyone does it, even if you don't mean to. It just kinda happens. God, there's so much words. I left for one. I've been doing this for the entire day. It, well, the whole day, the whole day in Slime Rancher, I've just been doing this. Uh. Hunter. Oh boy, anyways. It's literally nighttime now. That's how long I've been doing this for. We started at like, I think around five in the game. Upsides are about to hit 20,000. Downsides, we've been doing this for a while. Like, literally a stupidly long time. <laughs> Slammer just is like this late in the game. Fourteen, 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 fourteen. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Not like my money, though. My money is not perfectly balanced. 7Z. Yeah, sure. Fuck it. Oh, Grotto upgrade. Let's go. We're broke now. What else can I buy here? Nothing else. I am so rich. Anyways, time to run to the glass desert. Turn down my mic. Yeah, turn down my phone slightly so you guys don't hear it. I should probably feed all the other the uh, Largos as well. Largos, L Lorgos. How, how the fuck? How the fuck you pronounce it? I'm just gonna call them Largos. I I I assume you feed this tabby one, and then there is one other one that I know of that you guys have not seen yet. It's a Crystal Largo. I still need to feed that big boy. No, oh, but anyways. Uh. Damn, there's a lot of creatures over here. The the music changing as it just run through biomes is funny. I need to watch a Slime Rancher speed run just to see like what people are doing. Because I could definitely speed on Slime Rancher if I wanted to. Like, I, w I wouldn't get a good time, obviously, but I could do it. Maybe like a three to two hour run, maybe, is what I could do. I don't know. I, I, I have to check like what the world world record is.
Shit, we forgot we forgot our, our gilded thing. We forgot our golden blue thing. Oh, mic glitch. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Uh, thank you for that warning terminal. Anyways. Oh, I'm, I'm quiet now. Oh. Okay, well. <laughs> Hopefully not quiet for too long. I just gotta speak a bit louder than normal. No, but anyways. I, I need to get a new headset. Like, there's no way around it. I just need to get a new one eventually. Like, th this one's good and all, but like, there's like at least one mic glitch per stream. At, at least it gives us, at least it gives you guys a warning to like type it out. Like, hey, get ready to unplug and replug it in before like it happens. Oh boy. <laughs> We have a new one, chat. Anyways. Let's run through this fiery hellhole. Ah, fuck! It sniped me. It's like when you shoot a pipe as demo man and like it hits some poor scout who's running to a health pack. I, I know that feeling all too well, by the way. Uh, we gotta go. We just gotta leave. It, it's the final stretch, chat. We're gonna make it. Oh, it's coming down, though. We're gonna make it the fi the final stretch to the l last part of the game. We're here. Oh. Well. Here's the ending. Two doors. The Jerks left us filled with moments where there's two doors. You can, only, you can only choose one. I came to the far far range because I searched for the unknown. Is in it's my boat. In time, even a thousand light years away from Earth wasn't enough, so I searched for secrets within the ancient ruins that led me here. This place was my ticket to go even further. This literally just opens one or two of the doors. That's that's it. <laughs> there's there's no difference or thing. Like it's just two of the doors. Anyways, the the ruins are actually great engines that allow for travel through space, maybe even time. After years of study, I knew how to activate them, and I'll, I alone would be the first to cross over into the true beyond, it was the ultimate adventure. But then there's that other door I met, Fora, and it fell in love. What are the chances of that? She had a piece of my heart, and the universe had the other. Two doors, Beatrix. Well, we're about to find out which door he chose. Don't kill yourself. I chose my door. I went back to the ranch and properly sold it. I packed my things and took a tour of this beautiful land one last time, leaving these little notes for you. It was time I said goodbye to the life I had 
My hands and feet tingled as I approached this monolithic warp terminal. What lay ahead of me was an adventure unlike anything I had ever known in my life. I stepped onto the platform, my heart racing. And here it is. The final note. Are y'all ready? I know I am. But I didn't go. I, pe I packed for a new adventure, but it wasn't going to be beyond space and time, so I said a little goodbye to what it could have been and headed to Forest Ranch. I look forward to hearing the sound of those wind chimes. I've never been in love before, never known anything like it. It's time I got to knowing what all the fuss is about. So good luck, good luck to you, Beatrix. Always remember to use your head, but your heart do think it every now and again. It might surprise you. How the fuck do I activate this? I want to go. I want to go on a grand adventure through time and space. Don't I guess I this? I'm gonna mark down to Fora's ranch and fucking throw you onto it, throw you into a table before I point a gun at your head and tell you <laughs> and ask you what how to activate. It. Actually, I put a boom slide to your head, which will probably blow up and kill us both. I'm gonna activate the machine. Uh. Anyways, that was the ending area. We now just gotta wait for the last ma mail from KC to come in, and then the creds roll. In the meantime, while we wait though, we got one last thing to do, chat. One last man that has yet to be caught. And we have a few tabby, and we have a few gordos to feed. But we have one last basser to catch. The last loose end of our adventure. God himself. We will capture him. Run through this area. Oh, very, very angry. Ow. Let's head back and start stocking up on chickens. We're gonna need all of them we can get. Anyways, we're also going to check up on God's Trap. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> oh boy. We're gonna need some chickens to feed the bastard. And I know an area full of chickens. Where are they? There's one. The start of our chicken collection begins now. You. There were so many chickens. I need you. They just keep spawning in. I 
need more. <laughs> Every time the game lags, take a shot. Don't actually do that. You will, you will die to, bl to, bl to, to alcohol poisoning. Don't take a shot every time a game likes. Please, I beg you, chat. Don't actually do it. You will die. I am not joking. Also, if you want to go, if you want to go meet God yourself, none of you want to meet God himself quite yet. You all have a life ahead of you. Let's speed the stony heads first. All the normal chickens. Me and my parent once to take a shot every time there's an ad while listening to music on YouTube. Did you die? Or did, did, how, how, how quick, how quickly did you, did you guys end that game? I assume very quickly. I got her an ad plucker. Oh my god. YouTube could have killed. Oh, he's large. Hey, a portal opened up. Oh my god. It leads back to the ranch. You know, the thing I'm gonna run to in like five seconds. Hey, the last message from Casey. Oh, it took like half the night. Oh boy. Bill. I think that's the final message from Casey as well. There he is! I saw him! Where the fuck did he go? I fucking saw him, chat. I saw him. He was right there. I almost had him, chat. He slipped through our fingers again. Actually, not our fingers. He's slipped through my fingers. You guys aren't here. I need food. I need veggies, because crystal slimes eat veggies. I'm pretty sure it's a crystal slime Largo. If it's not, then I'm going to be very disappointed. Uh, 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 uh. I need more veggie. At least 50. Hey, a bunch of carrots. I don't think I don't think God's there yet, but we're gonna find out soon enough. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about, I completely forgot our, about our water slimes again. I, I don't mean to forget about them, it's just that they're very forgettable. <laughs> uh, let me go forget about them again, <laughs> though. We're just, gonna, we're just com com gonna completely ignore them. Let's fuck them. I'll wait for their price to, of plorts to increase before we start selling their shit. Oh, that's the use of silos, by the way. What you're supposed to do, do, use silos for is like, like take plorts that like are quite rare or like hard to get a hold of, and like just store them all there, and then like in one go, just use it all up. At least that's what that's people seem to use silos for. Like in one go, you just crash the stock market immediately for all the plorts you have access to. It's pretty funny. I didn't get a good look at him if he was there, so I'm gonna assume he's not there yet. Ooh, 
We might be here a while, by the way, after I complete the game. Because <laughs> Gordo traps are slow from what I know. Like, they like it, they roll a random tra chance of catching the Gordo. And sometimes this can, like, take forever. Sometimes it happens immediately. Other times it, ha it happens eventually. But it will happen. It's just gonna take a long, long time. <sighs> oh no, wait, there's a, there's a few more Gordos we have to get rid of. Not not just not just the crystal one, but there's also a, to get to the crystal one, we also need to get rid of the big one. The, uh, what's his name? We need to get rid of the rock Gordo as well that's guarding the portal. Then we can go and, so we have two Gor Gordos left. Which I'm going to try to do. Luckily, hearty beats are ve readily available. Well, heart beats. I don't know why I keep calling them hearty beats. Hey, hey, you puddles. We're gonna take everything we can get. We can get. Oh boy. Uh. Just a bit more. There you are. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know why I turned into Wario for a second there, but we got five. Fucking war Wario sound percent. Just shoot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make guess a joke percentage and see if it's accepted by this beater and leaderboard. It's just Wario sound percent. Where you just have to shoot shoot a uh, a gold slime with a, with a gilded thing. Damn, there's nothing down here. Imagine robbing some. Imagine like someone breaks into your house, goes to rob you, goes like, "Damn, you broke it. You broke as well." And just leaves you. I don't. I don't feel offended. I would just go like, "Damn, don't have to pers personally attack me like that." Anyways. Hi, hi, chicken. Oh boy, time to go for this area again. Can't wait to be harassed. Hey, hey, there's harassment right there, there behind me. Oh, there's no food up here. Let me just go up here more. Oh, you're happy. You aren't. There, the, there they are. Some more food. There he is, chat. The tax man. Get him. I 
I gotta feed your fat ass real quick, then I can get by you. Where is it? There it is. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, I missed. Hey, we're here. H. It was here that I knew I had to leave once again. I had spent the entire day exploring, trying to find my way to this island, and though I spent the rest of the night walking along the shore in the soft glow of these fire flowers, I caught myself looking up again and again. Once more, I was looking up to the stars. H, you just have a major problem, like, staying in one spot. Like, man, man literally goes, like, time to leave. <laughs> Fucking sees a shooting star and goes, like, I can get you that. Anyways, the large lad is up above. I just gotta make sure I'm ready for him. We have 50 carrots with his name on it and one odd onion. If, as long as nothing supernatural happens, this should be easy. That's a spy TF2 reference right there. If you guys don't... Oh, that's another thing I'm bringing up. Overwatch 2 came to uh, Steam. And they're currently getting clowned on. That Blizzard absolutely fucking deserves it, because because they ruined that game perfectly. That game could have been fun. From what I heard, the game was fun at launch, like the original Overwatch was, but they ruined it because they kept appealing to like the competitive play. They killed their own series by trying to appease to one group. Here, have some onions. I don't need them. We gotta leave, chat. Not you. Actually, you know what? You're the, you're the new chat. We gotta leave, chat. We gotta leave. Never mind. Apparently, I'm leaving the guys behind. I couldn't take you guys with me. Sorry. You have a new chat. Come here. Hey, I'm gonna take you somewhere safe, chat. Well, we fucking disagree again, and we've been replaced again. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking. You. This is a this is a safe spot, chat. You should be safe here. There's no food here, but still, you're safe. Fucking uh, abducts one creature and plants a high mine into it. Well, uh, don't worry, chat. I'm gonna save you. Leaves one creature behind, finds a new one, puts another hive mine into it. I'm taking you again. Anyways. Left to starve, shake my head. <laughs> well, maybe, well, maybe I should leave the cave. C counter argument, leave. <laughs> not, not the stream chat. Leave the cave. Please, please don't go, chat. No, wait, hold on. No. I should have thought more. I should have thought more about before I said anything. Three hundred. I'll wait for a tick. I'll wait for a. Pro I'll wait for midnight. Then I'll go sell. Why is there a rooster here? Ah, there's something in my eye. I'm not gonna look at God's Island. I'm just gonna hope that he's there when we get there. Chat. The moment of a truth. Where the fuck is God? Where is he? I want him back. Oh, 
I have an idea. We're gonna pick it up and we're gonna move it because clearly God doesn't want to be on this island. So here's what I'm gonna do. Maybe it needs to be in a place where slimes naturally spawn. So we're gonna start gonna move it over. We're gonna place God right here, right next to his tree. Get out of here, you're not God. We need a pogo fruit to complete the to, to complete the thing. Hey, pogo fruit. God has abandoned us. He clearly has, so I had to bring it closer to him. Now. That's God's fruit. He's, he's left us to raw after I killed him. If I, if I would have known he was going to be a little bitch about it, I would have killed him. I'm going to sleep till morning. Hold on. Sleep until morning. A new day dawns on us all. <laughs> oh, he's here! <laughs> Guys! <laughs> we had to move him from his island because... <laughs> However, he's here, chat. Oh, it's so good to see you again, God. I think the actual problem was, was the fact that that, that it needs to be an area where slimes can spawn. Nothing spawns on the island. So clearly. <laughs> but hey, now he's right outside. Look at him. He's happy. God, has, God hasn't abandoned us. He, w he was waiting for us to move. <laughs> he was waiting for us to move, move it so he could be closer to us. He's a real, he's a real one for real. And what are the prices of the gold? <laughs> the price of gold has dropped this. Anyways. God has been as fat once a very piece of land, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, anyways. Here it is. Star Mail. The final one, I'm pretty sure. Another tour. Hey, B, there's another tour coming up, and I have a feeling that this will be the one. So here I am, packing my bags, picking up you. Maybe this is how it felt when you were leaving for your big adventure. Lots of excitement, lots of butterflies. And even though I know you're so far away, I keep thinking that maybe I'll catch you somewhere out there with no crowd. If that ever happens, I promise I'll sing a song for you. It wouldn't be the first time. That day, Beatrix. Wait, no, hold on. I'm I didn't get to feed my slimes. Hold on, no, they're getting me all mad. She thought about Hubson and Fora and the adventures she yeah, explored before for it. But most of all, she thought Casey and, and, how, and wondered where life would take her next. God has abandoned us. Well, here's the music. Hopefully, it's not copyrighted. Oh, please don't say that you'll go. My heart can't bear the news. <laughs> the cactus. Knowing that you'll be a thousand light years away if you do. 7Z, the corporate greed. And will you know when it's through? When you find what you're looking for, will you know That's a boom slide. <laughs> Point of view, the son of the destroyer. Oh, a large crystal lad. Said it you were gone. 
our rock. Tar. Gold. <laughs> Get the fire extinguisher. So Pink rock. Brad. Knowing that you'll be a thousand light years away if you do. Oh, Firefly. Oh, if you do. Oh, more pi oh, oh, the lava. Just sitting here gazing up at the stars. Let's say we pick one out and call the whole thing ours. And even though that. See, ain't the same for you and me. Well, you'll know, and I'll know that you and I can't even be the screen Terry. No, no, oh, I want a plushie of that pink slime now. What if I was laser away? Perform by lyrics by produced by Betty Green. I can't pronounce any of these wo words. However, I can't pronounce the word Greenwood. Anyways, all our slimes are gonna be extremely fucking hungry. Monomi Park. I d is that how you pronounce it? I was gonna call them. I was gonna call them Park. For every pioneer on every new frontier, be brave. Who's that quote? Be bold. Who's the quote? And stay wiggly. Uh, never mind. That's not. Cool. That's. Not, I thought it was gonna be like an actual fucking quote from someone, but nope. No wait. Hold on. Okay, didn't progress a whole day forward. Oh, hard tech avoided. Oh, hey, Hubson, tw tw Twillagers. Twill villager? Hey, Hubson. He hello there, Hubson Twillagers. Hello, Beatrix. I just wanted to say thanks for taking care of the old ranch. I, I know I left it in a bit of a sorry state, and from what I hear, it's looking mighty fine these days. It is! Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy knowing that it's in such good hands. As a little thank you, I have activated free secret vaults by built years ago to stash a small fortune of mine. I was always planning on using it as walking around money in the great beyond, but I ain't needed that for that no more. But you know me, I like good adventure. I'm not telling you where those vaults are located. Go explore. H. Fun fact! Those vaults are all full of gold slimes. And one of them's just full of gold plorts, but a few of them have just gold slimes about, and the, the other one has just a bunch of gold plorts, and then the other one just has gold slimes and gold plorts everywhere. Anyway, it's time to sell. The prices are down. They didn't go up, but I'm gonna have to sell. I'm gonna sell. Anyways. Yeah. That's kind of it for Slime Rancher. Now, there's a few other things I could do. For example, I could do the quest for Ogden, for Ogden and, like, oh, Mochi and Victor, but all those take a while to beat. Like, each of those would take at least two streams each to do. Because they, they do take a while to actually beat properly. I ain't gonna do that here, because Mochi's is definitely by far the worst. Vic Victor's and Ogden's, you can, like, jump in back in right away. Well, Mochi, you just, you have to wait like around five or so minutes between each tribe before you're able to actually do it again after you finish. But yeah, that's it for Slime Rancher. And we beat it, we beat it all. We beat all of Slime Rancher and only three in-game weeks. Yeah, Mo Mo Mochi's is fun though. It's just that hers is quite annoying to do. But yeah, we, we've done it all, chat. We beat the entire game. 
And well, yeah, there's nothing else I can really say. Th thank, thank you all for like tuning in. Slime Rancher has has by far been my most successful playthrough I've ever done. It like it's beaten out both Undertale and Celeste and even Hollow Knight in the amount of people who've like showed up. Like nine people showed up last stream and six of them stayed for a majority of it. So yeah. Slime so that. <laughs> Uh, clearly, uh, clearly, indie games are the way are the way for me to go. So you all can expect a lot more indie games, like e e eventually. I I'd still like to do AAA games here and there, but like you all can expect me to do more in indie games because well, they're fun to do. But yeah, that's basically it. We. Did everything I said I was gonna do. We caught God. We didn't catch him in his original spot, but he kind of abandoned that place. We got. We have a new upgrade. Hold on. Just in case, in case you can't see me find the last one. Game. I have three spare slime keys now. Oh, that's twenty-five thousand. I have two spare slime keys. What do you mean? Mean the last one? No, but yeah. Uh, once again, thank you all so much for this, because like, what Slime Rancher is the is the one that basically got us to 50, 50 follower, almost fifty followers on Twitch. So most likely, the next game I do will be the one that pushed me there. And well, it's it's gonna be a vote between three games, and I'll put it up on my YouTube community tab for you guys to go vote on. But yeah, anyways, thank you all for watching. Remember to follow me on Twitch. No reason not to. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, join my, the Discord. I'm I'm fairly active there. You, you can you can come by, say hi. Just don't ping me at all. Uh, and also, just follow the rules in general there, as well as Discord's terms of service. Like, don't use third party stuff that Discord does not permit you have to follow discord rules as well as the server rules but yeah anyways and also go follow my tumblr account it's the only social media that i consider a social media other ones that i do use you could count youtube discord twitch and reddit as social medias but i don't but tumblr is the only one i consider to use because twitter or x now as it's called is kind of hell and well, it's been held forever, and Facebook's just kind of bad, and all the other ones are just kind of mid at best. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for whatever game we do then. Goodbye.